Hello everyone, Shadow Supreme here. Uh, as you know, in my last episode, uh, well, if you haven't seen my last episode, it is the Volts tutorial. Uh, you can check that out on my channel. Uh, I described how, because of the ICBM mod, which pretty much has all the explosions and other things that can cause a lot of lag, you're going to want to get Optify. Now, this is a mod that, as you see here, can uh, it can support HD textures, like kind of like MC Patcher, um, and it can also provide an FPS boost. And I found it really helpful when I'm not recording. Uh, I have around 98 FPS, and I don't have a gaming computer, and it's a laptop. So with without Optifine, I used to have like 20 FPS to 10 FPS. Um, and the reason why I have like 20, 30 FPS right now is just because I don't have very good recording software. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm using the trial version of Fraps, so it's still good though. So, um, anyways, so to start out, you want to go to this, you want to go to this Optifine link right here. I'll have a link to that in the description. And what you're going to want to do is you scroll down and you'll see Preview Optifine HD D3 Ultra for Minecraft 1.4.6 and 1.4.7. Uh, you might be watching this in the future, so it might be like 1.5. I have no idea. Hopefully that comes out soon because the snapshot looks pretty awesome. Um, anyway, so they'll have this updated uh, soon after that update or maybe before. I'm not sure. But anyways, for right now, it's this one. But this is a preview. That's just like, I don't even know what that is. It's probably just like, shows you it or whatever. But you want to scroll down one more, and you'll get to Optifine HD Ultra. And that's what you want, the purple one. And you're going to want what I got is this one right here. So that's just an example of it. It shows you like graphic cards and stuff. But you're going to want to scroll down to Optifine Ultra. Make sure it's not the um, preview. And then you want to click download. Now it's going to take you to adfly.com and this is just kind of a ad thing pretty much. This, like if it says required, it doesn't actually mean it's required. You just got to wait five seconds up here. Skip ads, so that's an ad. And then it also surround the actual thing by a bunch of ads as you see. So click download Optifine. And uh, you'll click open and see it opens those ads <laughs> but it's not a virus or anything like that I've checked it multiple times with my scanning software and uh, it's completely safe um, you're gonna want to click open if it doesn't work your download it will probably come up with something that says uh, refresh your download or whatever you can do that but you wanna click open and that'll run your security scan and start downloading and it comes up pretty fast there we go so this is the 7-zip folder of Optifine. So before you do that, like this Optifine download, you're going to have to get 7-zip. Now a lot of people use WinRAR, and some people say that's better, some people say this is better. This one is more user-friendly, it's easier for people that don't really um, like know how to use computers that much. Um, and so what you're going to want to do is just go to this link right here, hop that in the description, and it'll take you right here, and you just choose whichever type of Windows you have, if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit, and obviously I have a 64, so I would click download right here, and it'd take you to this page that says your download will start in 4, 3, 2, 1, and it'll send a link right down here to the bottom, but I've already installed it, so I don't think I need to do that again. Um, so yeah, you're just going to download that. It says it right here. I can run it, I guess. Why not? I'll have two of them. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yep, so that's going to finish downloading, and you could just save it to your desktop. And um, see right there, That's this is open with 7Z. That stands for 7-zip. And it's not like a program that you have to open or anything just when you get this and it says that you got it and you save it to your desktop just download the Optifine like I showed you how then you're gonna want to do the percent app data percent 
and click on roaming and this is for volts I don't know if it works for Minecraft or Technicontra I assume it's the same but I'm not gonna say that because I haven't tried it for those yet so you want to go to go to Technic Launcher. You want to go to Vaults, because that's what we're doing. You want to go to Bin, and here's your mod pack. Now you're gonna want to make a copy of this because just in case something has gone wrong, which it has to me in the past when I tried downloading another um, mod, Optifine doesn't do doesn't do that, but other mods might mess it up a little bit. So you want to just it's really easy. Just click on it. Uh, I think something wrong there. Uh, and then you're going to want to copy it and then just paste it to your desktop and just keep it there just in case something happens. So yeah, uh, so that will prevent it from screwing up your whole mod because when it happened to me on my, uh, when I downloaded another mod uh, when I was updating bolts, it crashed it and it turned it into regular Minecraft. It was really weird, but then I just deleted the mod pack, put it in the copy, and now it's back to normal again. So that's good. I obviously had to re-download Optifine, but you know that's fine as long as you know what to do. So, so you want to copy that. Then you can click on the original one, right click, open with, and it should say 7-Zip File Manager right here. If you have WinRAR, just obviously click WinRAR. Um, but for right now, we're using 7-Zip, so you just click on that, and it'll open the same thing as the uh, Optifine type thing. So you open this one too. So this one's the um, this one's the Optifine, and this one is the uh, bin thing. So what you're going to want to do is see if there is any WinRAR. I mean, not WinRAR. Um, meta inf folders so it doesn't look like this I've already deleted the meta inf folder that's why but you'll see like right at the top of your bin folder one not the optifine one you'll see it says meta inf in all caps and you're just gonna wanna click on that and press delete and yes now if it says error that means that your minecraft or your technic is open so make sure that that is closed when you delete the meta inf because then it'll just won't work it won't let you delete it um, so then you're going to want to drag or just pretty much so this is the Optifine so you're gonna wanna just click on this one anywhere press control A and I'll select everything for you you just wanna click on one of these and drag it into this one and then that's all it'll say are you sure you want to move all these things into this thing you just press yes and then you'll see it like flash and click and then you're done. Then you can exile both. You don't need to save it or anything like that. You can close this, close all this stuff and then when you get into your Technic Launcher you see here ignore all this stuff. It's just school stuff pretty much. Um, you'll see when you open this Hurry up, Technic Launcher. <sighs> Any day now. Be nice. So this is me. Just edit all your information. And you're going to want to connect to Minecraft.net. Um, also, if you want best results, I guess, just um, doesn't really matter if you do it or not, but... Uh, before you download Optifine, you could go here, you could click Options, obviously before you click Login, and you could clear your cache, cake, whatever it's pronounced, but it's spelled C-A-C-H-E, and uh, that will pretty much clear all the data for a faster download of Optifine. So yeah, but that's not necessary at all. Optifine takes like 5 seconds to install anyways, it's a very fast mod, so there's no real need for doing that. But uh, if you have like a slow computer then I would recommend it so uh, yeah just gonna wait for this to mojang volts always takes a long time for the mojang to go away from me I don't know why that is here we go so now if you, I go under mods you'll see at the very top it'll say optifine so there it is it's installed uh, 
usually it wouldn't be there but when you download it it should be at the top that's how you know you did it correctly this is version 1.4.6 of Optifine because uh, the 1.4.7 version of Optifine hasn't come out yet like you see it is right here 1.4.7 but um, if you look on the uh, Optifine download if I go back 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 then you'll see that I think down here it should say that it's uh, here 1.4.6 and 1.4.7 so they didn't need to make a new version because they just checked if it worked for 1.4.7 and it did so yeah that's off to fine uh, you'll see a big increase in FPS hopefully uh, you can once you download it you'll check it even changes some things when you go into here I'm check down I'm peaceful I don't want to die um, it'll come up with this so you can change your render distance at different levels for more accuracy on the render distance that you like. I keep it usually on normal 64. Obviously if you put it on tiny it will be the fastest. If you put it on extreme it will be the most laggy. But usually I just keep it on normal 64. That seems to be fine for me and you can see a lot of the chunk. So uh, you can adjust the FPS so if you want it to stay on 35 you can kind of make it that uh, max FPS it, it'll uh, vary it has no limit at all um, and it'll be the fastest pretty much it'll make your FPS highest uh, if you put it on balance which is right here I think then it'll only allow up to 120 FPS which is still fast <laughs> That's really fast, but it does say in parentheses slower right there. So I just keep it on max FPS if you want Optifine for FPS, which I'm assuming you do. So uh, yeah, a few other things that you can do to make your FPS better is change fog start to 0 0.2 because that prevents the chunks that you don't need from loading so fast. So um, uh, it will, um, ooh, <laughs> voice crack. Uh, it will uh, pretty much just increase your FPS because it's not loading like five chunks at one time. Uh, and you could always turn your render distance off if you don't like the fog. Um, let's get that back to 64. You go into quality and turn most of this stuff off. You just hover over it, and if it says off is faster, I recommend turning it off because it's faster. Clear water, I just like clear water and it doesn't um, affect your FPS, so that's good. Performance has some stuff on it. I click on smooth FPS because it makes it stabilized. Even if it lowers your FPS, it makes it to like around 50. It'll stay 50 and it won't like go 90 FPS and then 5 seconds later you're at 5 FPS and you have like a giant lag spike. So I really recommend turning smooth FPS on, so that's good. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all you need to change, I think. Uh, this has been Shadow Supreme. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope this helped. And be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.